prime number is a number whose only factors are 1 and itself. A composite number is the opposite. It has more factors, other numbers that divide it besides 1 and itself. For example, 7 is prime. The only way to get 7 by multiplying is to multiply 1 times 7. Its only factors are 1 and 7. 6 is composite. 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. 2 and 3 are also factors, as well as 1 and 6. OK, so is 1 itself a prime number? People disagree on this. It depends very much on how you define prime. Does a prime number have exactly two factors? Then 1 is not prime. But if a prime number is divisible by 1 and itself, well, then by that definition 1 is prime. You'll have to make up your own mind on this. For me, as a number theorist, 1 is not prime. It's special because of the way multiplication works. 2 is the first prime number, and the only even prime. 3 is the first odd prime, and so on. So how do we find out whether a number is prime? Well, the simplest way is called trial division. Just try dividing it by every possible factor. Does 2 go into it? No. 3? No. Hmm, do I have to try 4? I'll let you think about that. There's another interesting question here too. How far do I have to go in my checking before I know for certain that the number I've got is definitely prime? Do I have to go all the way up to the number itself? Or can I stop before then? Who cares anyway? Why would I ever need to know whether a number is prime or not? Well, my first answer to that is because it can make some other maths problems later on much easier if you can reduce a big number to the product of several much smaller numbers. Simplifying fractions, for example, is only possible if you can find common factors on the top and bottom of the fraction. Solving a complex algebraic equation often depends on clever factorization. But I know some of you are thinking, that's just more maths problems. What about in the real world? Well, it turns out that prime numbers are absolutely fundamental to many things that you probably rely on every day in the real world. CDs and DVDs rely heavily on prime numbers to work. The cryptography that keeps your mobile phone calls and internet banking transactions secure is based on the difficulty of determining whether a very large number is actually prime or composite. So in fact, it's a really important question to be able to answer. Is this large number I've come up with actually prime?